That's the town of Krasnidov. Kind of small, but strategic. It sits right on an important crossroad. The town has to be taken, and Baker Company's got the job, with my platoon going in first. We got the poop from our lieutenant in a barn not far from town, after he made his reconnaissance. That's Lieutenant Kruger, the platoon leader. Me? I'm Sergeant LeBlanc. I got the first squad. The lieutenant is giving his attack order. I want you all to make notes of your individual missions, and then go over them with your men. Our company will attack and clear the village to our front. Company A attacks on our left. The second platoon is on our right. Artillery and mortar preparatory fires will begin five minutes before we cross the line of departure. They will smoke the village after firing for two minutes. All fires will lift on call. Tanks will fire from positions at or near the line of departure until their fires are massed. We will seize the buildings up to the near side of North Street and prepare to continue the attack on order to clear the remaining buildings in our zone. See the sketches I gave you for objectives and boundaries. We will move out in platoon column along this draw in the following order. Third squad, weapon squad, rocket launcher team, second squad, 57 millimeter rifle squad, first squad, and the 60 millimeter mortar squad. When we get into position for the assault at this rise, the third squad will be in the center, about here. The first squad on the left, here. The second squad on the right, here. And the 57 millimeter rifle, about here, between the first and third squad. One light machine gun from the weapons squad will set up between the first squad and the 57 millimeter rifle here. The other between the third squad and second squad about here. Sergeant LeBlanc? Yes, sir. Your first squad will assault building one and cover the attack on buildings five and six. After building five and six have been cleared, take buildings two and three. Then, cover the attack on building seven. After seven has been cleared, take building four. Yes, sir. Sergeant Barracini? Yes, sir. The second squad will cover the attack on building one from here. After building one has been cleared, take five and six. Cover the attack on buildings two and three. After two and three have been cleared, take seven. Yes, sir. Sergeant Dermott? Yes, sir. The third squad will cover the attack on buildings one, five, and six from here. After buildings two and three have been cleared, move into building one. Set up in one, two, and then three, remaining at all times one building behind the first squad. Place covering fire on the buildings across North Street and on those buildings in the second squad zone that haven't been cleared. Roger Dixon? Yes, sir. One of your light machine gun teams support the first squad, the other the second squad. Right, sir. Corporal Fredericks? Yes, sir. The rocket launcher will move with the covering party of the second squad as soon as it moves into building five. Make sure your team keeps a sharp eye out for enemy tanks, especially along this street. Yes, sir. We'll watch out for tanks. Good. Sergeant Jenks, after we leave the line of departure, you will set up your mortar on this side of the rise. Be sure you have enough smoke rounds and be prepared to fire upon any buildings in our zone. And you will stay with me at all times. Yes, sir. But what about communication with the mortar? You'll have a sound power phone to take care of that. All right? Okay, sir. Now for the 57 millimeter rifle. The squad will initially cover the attack from this point. After that, 
It will move up and follow the first squad's attack on buildings one through four. Sergeant Rodriguez? Yes, sir. When your attachment becomes effective, you will move one tank up in the vicinity of building one, the other near five and six. From there, you will cover our advance. I'll give you further instructions over your phone. Yes, sir. Sergeant Kenny? Yes, sir. Have your heavy machine gun squad fire down North Street and on the buildings on the other side of North Street. Have three men from your squad form a rocket launcher team and join the covering party of the first squad when it moves into building one. Now, when you have taken a building, you will indicate that it has been cleared by hanging a sheet from a visible window. I will follow the first squad as soon as building one is clear. Each detail was understood by everybody. Tomorrow, there wouldn't be time for questions. H hour minus five. The barrage to soften up the enemy began. Artillery, mortars, and other supporting weapons. Tower minus three. The heavy mortars hung up a curtain of smoke in front of the enemy. H hour. Time to move out from the line of departure. Third squad in diamond formation. The rest of the platoon in column. When we got to the rise the lieutenant had picked for our assault position, the 60 millimeter mortar squad dropped out of formation to set up its weapon. The third squad hit the center. The second squad deployed to the right, and the first squad, my squad, grabbed the slot on the left. 57 millimeter rifle boys slipped in between the first and third squads. The rocket launcher team played shortstop behind the second squad, and the light machine guns filled in the rest of the line. Advance six, this is advance one, over. This is advance one. Request smoke be lifted, over. a mortar located up there between buildings four and seven. See it? Yes, sir. Okay, let's button it up. Number one. Fire!
The lieutenant ordered the supporting fires lifted so we could get moving. Building number one, our first objective. Our covering fire was shifted away from building one. Okay, stay hard upstairs. Building one was ours. Now was the time to bring up the covering party. Let's go!
With the covering party out of trouble, Lieutenant Kruger ordered the smoke lifted. I had the squad lay covering fire on Building 5. While upstairs, Sergeant Williams ported out of Building 6. The idea was to button them up so Barasini's squad could move in. Okay, let's go! Barasini's boys were on their way into Building 5. Captain Richard. Which way to the roof? Through that door up the stairs. You see the trap door. I'll be up there if you want me. Yes, sir. Lieutenant spotted two enemy firing positions in Building 2. They had to be cleaned out before I moved in, otherwise I'd be in trouble. He checked in with the company commander to tell him the situation. Building 5 was duck soup for us. Building 6 was another story. The aggressor was holed up in there, waiting to make trouble. Up on the roof, meanwhile, Lieutenant Kruger gave me the plan of attack for Building 2. Then, right after the bazooka fires around round of HE into each one of those windows in Building 2, you toss out a few smoke grenades and send in your first searching team. When you clear the building, I'll have the bazooka fire a few rounds of WP in front of those buildings on North Street. Then, your covering party and your light machine gun can enter from the front door. How does that sound to you? Sounds good, Lieutenant. I think that'll do it. Okay, get going.
Let's go. Let's go. I gave the signal that building two is cleared. The bazooka came through with a smoke screen, and my covering party moved up to building two on the double. The bazooka team came after them. Then, the light machine gun squad. <laughs> Lieutenant Kruger threw out a red smoke grenade as a signal to the third squad to displace to building one. millimeter rifle team moved up with them. The attack was clicking so far. I had buildings one and two crossed off. Ferrocini had five and six under control. My next building was number three. This one called for a new approach. While I climbed up to the roof, my covering party sprayed building seven with crossfire. I was looking for. The trap door into building three. That chimney was a natural position for covering fire. This one doesn't look too tough. Here's the way we'll work it. Barry, you and Stankart go through the trapdoor of building three first. Before you go, drop in two grenades. Pace, you cover them from the chimney of this roof. Hayes, you cover them from the chimney of building three. I'll cover them from the north street side. Any questions? No. no. Okay, let's move on.
Okay, Sarge. Okay, please go on down. Okay, he's going in. Look, guys, we're over here. We gotta take seven next. Lots of enemy in there. They'll cut us down if we cross this open area. Hey, here comes our tank support. Must be Rodriguez. I'll get him to open up building seven for us. And after Rodriguez blast a big enough hole in the wall, you and Atkins go in. I want you to be careful. You've been pretty lucky so far, but this one's going to be a little rough. So watch out for yourselves. Any questions? No. All right, I'm going to go have a talk with Rodriguez. Meantime, if you need any grenades, get them from the covering party. No, no, Pete. They bugged out. No, oh, there's people down there. I know it. Let's go get them. Oh, wait a minute. Don't press your luck. Now, here's what we'll do. We'll hit them two ways. We'll blast a hole in the floor, then drop a few grenades down the hole and through the doorway at the same time. I don't get those pigeons. Get them. You and Mugs. Clear the other room. All clear, sir. Okay, stay in the hall. out of the window and then get a medic. With building seven taken, the attack shifted to building four. But this was an easy one. 
Lieutenant Kruger reported the success of his mission to the company commander. One casualty. We're evacuating him now. Over. How about prisoners, over? Eight. Five of them are wounded. They can all walk. I'm sending them back to Over. Okay. I'm sending a third platoon through you to take buildings 49 through 54. Coordinate with Lieutenant Gordon and give him what covering fire he needs. How's your ammo? Over. We're about out of everything. Over. I'll take care of that. Is there anything else? Over. The attack rolled on till every building was taken. Only then could we claim the town was secure. It was tough fighting. But then fighting in build-up areas always is tough. The buildings are natural defense positions for the enemy. We've got to smoke him out house by house. It's tough, but the odds aren't all on his side. You've got the advantage of surprise. You've got superior firepower, better training, and teamwork. Add to that plain guts, and you've got what it takes to win. 